large petals. Wrap the yarn around your needle finger, and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Work into a magic ring. Make loop around your middle finger, and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop of middle finger. Yarn hook and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, then work six and crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Yarn hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height. And will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work six and crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch. Through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Remember to mark the first stitch of every round. Let's continue. Once the crochet is done, work five more single crochets in the same way. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook and pull up loop. Then yarn hook and pull through both loops on the hook. Two way shapes stand for two single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring, yarn hook, and pull up loop. Then yarn hook, and pull through both loops and hook. Okay. Three V shapes stand for three single crochets. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. There are six way shapes on the side, which stand for six and crochets. The loop on the hook is not counted as one stitch. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch. The hook needs to go through both loops of the V shape to work the slip stitch. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn hook and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. 
make sure to tighten up when working the slip stitch. The slip stitch serves as a collection and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If the yarn is too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. If it's too tight, we can't insert the hook through stitch holes easily. In round 2, start with one chain stitch, then work 6 increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. Okay, that's one chain stitch. The chain stitch at the beginning is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work six increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Work one single crochet in the first stitch where we just finished the slip stitch of last round. Mark the first single crochet. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Continue to work five more increases in the same way. We need to work two single crochets in each stitch. Six increases are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Then pull the first loop through the ranging loop. This slip stitch serves as a collection and would be counted into the number of stitches. Round two is done. In round 3, start with one chain stitch, and then work it off once on crochet or increase for 6 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn the hook, and pull through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch at the beginning is to raise height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Work once and crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first stitch. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Once on crochet and one increase are finished, one set is done. Keep working five more sets. We work once on crochet and one increase as one set.
Six is a down. Finally, work one slip stitch in the mark stitch to join this round. The slip stitch serves as a collection and will not be counted into the number stitches. Round three is done.